What's going on? It's Young Larry, aka the motherfucking L God. And we are back today reviewing Cars. Nothing personal. Cause if you're not familiar, Los Angeles, California rapper, newest, not newest, but member of Dreamville imprint under Def Jam Rockefeller, etc. etc. Um, if you are not familiar with Cause, older project, Cause and Effect, the sort of debut. Very good project. So hearing that he was dropping something new at the top of the year, I'm like, well, fantastic, wonderful. And does the project stand up to his previous work? Let's find out, shall we? In terms of the quality of the songs, first three tracks are a strong start with Wake Up Call being the sort of a, oh, it's, he's, he's starting off pretty good. You're getting there, it's just like, all right, I'm, wait, I'm ready to hear what he's got to say on this tape. And then after the third track, well, let's just talk about how this all goes sort of downhill, shall we? Cause does the thing, and it's a thing that I am frankly never too fond of, and it's the thing of being a rapper thinking you can sing with auto-tune on your hook and or chorus. I do not know why rappers are doing this. Maybe the futures and the drakes uh, of the current flavor are getting them hyped up, gassed up, thinking they can do some things. But everybody from Troy Ave to sometimes, sometimes even J. Cole. Um, you do it and it's just, it's not, it's not a good look. And Kaz sort of falls into that pit this time because after this, after Grey Goose, there's just a, there's just a set of a few songs where he's trying to hit these hooks and these notes on these hooks with this auto-tune sort of reverb in the background. And it's just really gross. And it's like, I get it. You want to sort of see what your voice does. And that's the beautiful thing about mixtapes. You can do uh, silly shit like that. But it still sounds pretty boo-boo. And my whole thing is, if he was like, I don't know, two to three mixtapes deep, an album so deep, it'd be different. But this is like literally his second follow project. As far as I know, I could be wrong. If you know if there's something before cause and effect, fill me in. I'm here to learn. But as far as I know, cause and effect is the only joint. And as great of a stand, as, as great of a starting project as that was, nothing personal sort of like falls. Like cause and effect is here, nothing personal is all the way down here. You can't see the hand, but it's just like, yeah. So I don't know why, but I hope it doesn't do that in the future on any of his actual official albums. Standout tracks include, aside from the bad joints, Tabs, Grow, Wake Up Call, City of God, featuring Boogie, another young cat you should keep your eyes out for. All the trash, tell me who said Grey Goose and literally my least favorite on the whole project, Choice Today, where he literally sings, you had a choice today, you had a choice today, and I'm just like, yes, and I've obviously made a very bad one listening to this mixtape. Why are you doing this right now? Stop it, cause, stop it. Cause, nothing personal. Dodge that shit like the plague. It's low key, it's not worth the time. It's not cause and effect. Cause said, if you want serious shit, you can go for cause and effect. If you want some fuck around throwing material with a nigga just having some fun, hit up nothing personal. Me, I'm here for the serious and deep shit, and I'm here for the fun throwing material, but this particular front throwing material, not so fun, definitely a throwaway. Going in the trash, get moved from iTunes, the whole nine. Might keep a couple of tracks, but nothing too serious. Grow, I already have Grow and I already have tabs on Revenge of the Dreamer 2 EP, so that's definitely to delete. That's a free, like, what, couple megabytes? That's that's gone. So, dodge that shit. You don't skip it, whatever. Um, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Until next time, Shum Larry, aka motherfucker L God, hold that out.